Hello, my name is Edwin Hernandez. Um, I am the main developer for Atto Location. This is a navigation application, most likely like a location based services instead. Um, we have um, access to the main menu here where you can switch or toggle between the different modes. The standard mode basically is uh, the selection of different items where we want to gather information from. And the other mode basically is the standard um, navigation panning mode, as you may have seen in many of the other applications already there available. So these points here reflect the contents found on um, this XML. This XML schema is retrieved from the server at boot time and then uh, basically they provide the initial screen information for the XML content to be uh, drawn on the screen from that particular site. So that XML will look something like this where you have buttons, you have text views, you have image views and you have like uh, this particular tag which I uh, define which is called draw rectangle to draw a rectangle in the background of the image. So coming back to the, the example here, we will select, going back to the other navigation mode, we will select let's say that public store, uh, we press the fire key, it connects to, to the server, to the remote side, and retrieves the ad in particular. This ad in particular says uh, something about a coupon which is defined in the XML schema the XML schema says that this is going to be um, super store Publix. The coupon is 10% off. This is the code. And then it has a basically a call us button to make a phone call or um, a new screen here which is more information for that particular ad. So coming back here, so let's say I select the the colors button. I push the button. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I pressed the other button instead. So basically, that's the more button. Coming back to the um, call button again. So we're going to basically select that button by navigation. It's on the t uh, up and down menu, and by pressing the colors button, it will call an intent to initiate uh, a phone call. Similarly, um, you can navigate through the button, I mean through the through the ad, and come back to the navigation menu. And you can go, let's say, to Pep Boys. And Pep Boys has a very simple image view type of tag. It only brings up the, the ad from Pep Boys on the screen. You bypass that. And you may go to, like, other places like Barnes and Noble, Borders, each of those may have different ads, ad information that the user can retrieve at any point in time. So this is another example where we have another menu uh, information. Basically, the coupon is a sorry. There's no menu here. There's only an icon here and some text where the uh, coupon is trying to be sensing information. So um, since this uh, XML is pretty flexible, well you can imagine that it's a matter of like pushing ads into the map and being retrieved by this XML uh, parser to overlay on top of the map the ad. So this in particular is a very useful thing for advertisement and even for you to retrieve services you can make for example a reservation to a particular restaurant I'm going to be adding those, uh, those uh, uh, examples quite soon and maybe potentially in the next two weeks uh, a tool will be provided in the android.ubwireless.com website where you can actually see and uh, design your own ad and post it wherever you want so obviously you will have to most likely go to the options menu and zoom out quite a lot 
if you post the ad let's say in your particular area in California or Germany or any part of the world so stay tuned and thank you for coming to my site